Hello everyone, Dropper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm diving with you into the PvP area and the best march that you will be able to make. Today, I'm not focusing on the free-to-play players. I'm more diving into the early stage of the whales and the end game of the whales as well. So let's just dive into. It. Moving to the beasts, I'm going to be mentioning which is the best beast to be using for the march in early stage. As we all know, not all beasts available from the first day, but it's connected to the age of your server. So we're focusing on the SSR today. The first one going to be from the tank or from the fighter going to be, there is only two options you're going to have in the early stage. We have a Tyrant, and then we have a Nemesis, and then we have the other one going to be Bloodfang and Storm Talon. Between, no, not Blood Fang. Between the three here, the Tyrant, Storm Talon, and Nemesis, actually the best that I've found if you're going to be going all in to be maxing Tyrant, then I'll say he's a really good catch to take in an early stage. And just to be aware, it's only possible to be getting him from the VIP level, like going to the VIP you'll see exactly which is level required to get him. Going to be from VIP 7. But looking to his part, with, you're going to be making par cases, then you will be able to actually reach that VIP level, and then you'll be able to get 8 of that beast. So you will be able to actually make him pretty high as soon as possible. So from these 3 beasts we have, in, then we're having the other one going to be Storm Talon. Storm Talon looking to his skills, he's pretty much great to be using if not going for the Tyrant or Nemesis. We're having his skill going to be a 20% chance to deal 88% more damage to 3 turns and it's maxed of 40% damage extra. And then with having the second skill, all units going to be having a gain of 5% attack and that's just the start with a max of 25%. And the last skill going to be while attacking, all your units have a 50% chance to increase enemies' damage taken by 30%, and that damage will be reaching 50%, as well as the rider defense going to be increased by 25%. So from all the three here, you have two options. It's easier to be going for Tyrant if you're planning to be going all in for him, or you can be going for Storm Talon in the early stage. Nemesis, I can't really say he's really great in the early stage, looking to that he's having more of a passives than an active skills in the marsh. So he's not an option. So now you know which one from the rider is the best in the early stage. For the other type, the ranged, you have in pretty much two options. You have an either Bronus or Deathwing. Checking their skills, Kronos is having pretty much good stats on the skills for the military. The first one to be having a 16% chance to stun enemies for one turn. It's always good to be having this stun in the skills. The second skill, a 20% chance to reduce the enemy's damage dealt by 40% for two turns. And it's a max of 50%. The other skill gonna be a 50% chance for all units to deal 40% more damage with a max of 50%. If we check another wing or death wing, then you'll see that he's having pretty much close on the stats. So between both of them, I'm gonna say that actually another wing is great. Uh, death wing, I mean, is a great catch to be taken in the early stage. But still, if you prefer to be using Kronos, it's still a really good option as well. So both of them is really decent to be using in the early stage. Moving to the third option, which is the, the fighter, the rider, I mean. For the rider, there is pretty much two options we're going to have. The first one going to be Caesar. And the second option going to be Bloodfang between the skills on both of them. Bloodfang got more of a passive, which means he's not going to be an option. So the only option and the best option to be taken in the early stage going to be Caesar. Looking to his skills, he got the hunt attack going to be increased by 50% and that's the max. 
as well as the other skill, there is a 50% chance to increase the damage by 50%, as well as the third one going to be all units dealing 25% more damage. So between both of them, Caesar is the best option to be taken in early stage. So now we know which is the best BVB team for the Marsh to be taken into the early stage of the game. Now moving to the end game. The end game going to be having, let's say, two options of each. We're having, you can still use some of the old one, like uh, Caesar as an example. I'm still using him for now, but it's only temporarily the best options you're going to have from this one in the end game going to be Sir Pros. Look into his skills. There is every four turns fighters cause fire. Their damage taken going to be reduced by 55%, while riders and ranged units going to be reduced by 25%. So he's helping as well to be increasing the defense of the troops and the beasts as well. So he's a great option. And then the fighter is going to be dealing 80% more damage. And it's still a max of 100% more damage. And then the loss skill, with each attack, the targets start taking 20% more damage for one turn with a max of 25%. And the fighter's gonna be dealing 48% extra damage to the target with a max of 60%. So this is really such a great addition on this beast. For the next option, for the other type, gonna be from the ranged, gonna be Netherwing. Netherwing is the advanced version of Deathwing, and really, he's the best that far. Look into his skills. There is a 40% chance to increase the damage by 50%, and the other skill, enemies dealing 20% less damage, and the last skill gonna be every three turns, ranged units gonna be gaining 5% attack, and this effect is stackable and wear off when the battle is over. So every three turns, the ranged units going to be getting 5% extra attack. And it's stackable, which means it's possible that as long as the battle is lasting, every three turns, the ranged units going to be getting 5% extra, which means it can be reaching even 100% extra attack. This is really great. This is why he's one of the best into the ranged units. And for the last one, there will be two options for it. It should be Zephyron that to be adding in this team. But look into is that he's pretty much hard to work on. We can be having an addition to him or replacement for him. In the meantime, we can be going for Caesar still, or we can be changing him to any others that you prefer. Like, as an example, we have an Iron Head over here. He's really okay, not the best, but as a temporary option, he works great. But still, I prefer to be in this occasion to actually have Caesar as a temporary solution until you're having Zephyon ready to get into the action. Look into his skills, he will be having all units gonna deal 6% more damage. And this is just the start with a max of 30%. And then we have in the other skill, there is a 4% chance to neutralize the damage, which means neutralize is to be lowering it or even remove it with a max of 20%. This is crazy. And then the last skill going to be 25% chance for the rider to attack again, inflicting 140% damage and the rider lethality is 10% extra. And the cap of it is 200% with the damage for the, the uh, rider as well as its 25% rider lethality. And not only that, but in the BVB part, not the march, but an actual BVB like arena and such, if having these three together, they will be such a killer machine. And that's all for the best marsh you can be making if you're completely not free to play but a pay player this is going to be the best option you have in the game to be making sure you're gonna have the success and securing everything you would like to 
that's all guys for this video make sure to be sharing with me in the comments what you guys thinking about this auction i just gave you today and if you have any other opinion i'll be more than happy to be hearing your opinion and make sure to be liking the video subscribe to the channel to not be missing any of the future videos for now take care and enjoy your game